Okay, so in today's training, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can consistently show up on social media. So this can be Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, YouTube, whatever platform you're using, guys, the strategies are going to help you out. So we're going to be talking all about planning your social media content and showing up consistently in your business, even if you have no time whatsoever, because one of the biggest issues that my clients always bring up is I have these ideas, but I don't know when to post on social media, or I just don't have the time to share anything. You know what, 2,000 people last to do that. Wait, 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 wait till the end of the day, all this stuff. Someone, please mute yourselves, thank you. Okay, so what are we going to learn in this training? So the first thing we're gonna be Sorry. talking about is, oh, so someone. Sorry guys, let me just see who's, someone's not muted themselves. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be talking about in this training is we're going to be talking about identifying your why. And from there, we're going to move on to talking about setting your goals for the month. And then we're going to talk about the different types of content to create on social media. And finally, I'm going to be talking about how you can show up consistently in your business. So the reason why I really want us to go through all these other steps before we talk about showing up consistently is because they interrelate with one another. You can't just go showing up on, you know, on social media without a plan, without a goal, without a why. You need some sort of you know, a motivation or something to drive you towards showing up consistently. So we're going to touch based on all these other parts before we dive into the consistency part, okay? So before we get started, let's just talk a little bit about your why. So I'm sure all of you guys on this call right now are here because you are entrepreneurs, you've got your own business, or you're probably thinking about starting a business, right? So there's something that motivated you to start that business, something that pushed you to start that business. We all have a story. I know in my case, for example, I knew that working for someone else for the rest of my life was just not my call, right? I've always wanted to be my own boss. I've always wanted to be my own entrepreneur. I'm a very innovative person and I don't function well in, you know, a setting where I need to stick by someone else's rules pretty much. So I'm someone who's very creative. I'm very innovative. I like to come up with ideas and I like to implement things and just do things my way, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I'm sure for you, you also have something that has motivated you to start your business. So I really want you guys to note that down. Okay, let's make this very interactive. Um, if you have your pen and paper, I want you guys to note that down. Okay, and start brainstorming on all those reasons. When you're thinking about your why, also think about who you are doing this for, okay? So why are you running this business in the first place? Who is it for? Is it for your kids? Is it for your generations to come? Do you want, you know, to create a legacy for your kids, your grandkids, your great-grandkids? Who are you doing this for, okay? So start thinking about all those things. And what's the purpose of running this business? This is very similar to the first point on what motivated you to start your business. So your purpose is that mark that you want to leave in the world. So this is something that, you know, um, is very personal to you. So in my case, for example, my purpose for running my businesses is I want to help millions of women worldwide create financial freedom for themselves. That's my purpose. That's what I want to be remembered for when I leave this world. You know, when my time comes, I want to be remembered for that. But being that person that helped millions of people worldwide why create financial freedom that's my purpose and that's what drives me to keep going what do you want to do okay why sorry why do you do what you do again what pushes you what wakes you or gets you up in the morning is it a job you don't want to do anymore do you want to start your own business you want to be your own boss you want to spend more time with your kids why do you do what you do okay it's much easier, like I mentioned before to achieve your goals when you have a big motivation or drive because if you don't have a why it's pretty much like you don't have a purpose. So like what's pushing you to show up in your business? Why do you want to be consistent? Why are you on the Zoom training right now? We're all here for a reason, right? So I want you guys to just take a minute and just note down, okay, your why. Just based on everything we've talked about, I'm sure you guys are starting to come up with some ideas. You're starting to realize, you know, certain things that have been pushing you to start your business. Now that's your why. So I want you guys to note that down in a piece of paper. And you may realize you've got maybe more than one thing that's driving you and that's okay. Okay. Just note all those points down and I'll just give you guys a minute to do that. And for those of you guys who want to share in the chat, let me know in the chat what your why is. And let's just keep this interactive. Okay. So let me just give you guys a minute to go on and note down your whys. If you don't want to share it, that's fine. You can just keep it to yourself, okay?
Okay, so hopefully you guys have all written down your why. I can see there's no one on the chat right now. I guess you're all a shy crowd. Come on, guys, let's make this fun. <laughs> okay. Okay, Halle Brown says, needed a secondary income other than my salary. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's something you should note down. And that's something that you want to wake up every morning and look at. And that's going to push you. That's going to drive you to show up in your business. Okay, so that, that, that sentence and that phrase that you've just shared in the chat, I want you to write that down in a sticky note, okay? And stick it somewhere you can see every day you get out of bed. That's going to push you and that's going to drive you to show up in your business. Okay, great. Anybody else? want to share? Okay, so let's just move on to the next steps. So we've talked about our why. Hopefully you guys have noted down your why and your purpose and whatever's driving you. Let's talk about your business goals for this month. So now we know that we want to do this business thing. So we now need to go on and actually set goals for the month because without a goal, it's kind of like you're walking on eggshells. You have no direction without a goal, okay? So goal setting is something you can do once in a week. You can set a goal for, you know, every single week, every single month, or even a year. Really up to you how frequently you want to set goals in your business, okay? So these are some examples of different goals you could set for your business. So a goal could be something like, I want to get X amount of followers on social media. Now, notice how I didn't just put, I want to get more followers on social media. So you want to be very specific when it comes to your goals. So if you want more followers on Instagram, how many followers do you want? Is it 100 more followers? Is it 200 or 300? Be very specific on a number of followers that you want to have this month, okay? Be very specific when it comes to your goals. Perhaps you want to grow your email list to a certain number of subscribers. Um, do you want 100 extra subscribers, 1,000 extra subscribers this month? What's that number, right? Be very, very specific because when you, when you have... When you put a number, okay, it becomes easy to measure your goals. It becomes easy to measure your progress as well. Because if you're saying you want 300 new Instagram followers this month, then you know that you have to get 10 new followers every single day. Then it becomes easier and clearer to actually implement your strategies to, towards achieving your goal, if that makes sense. So you just have to be very specific. So as, I, as we're going through all this, I'm sharing all this, you know, different examples. I want you guys to also be brainstorming on what your business goals for this month are, Okay. Perhaps you want to make a certain amount of sales a month. Maybe you want to sell 20 pieces of inventory for you guys who are boutique owners. Maybe you want to sell, um, I don't know, 10 dresses this month or 10 dresses every single day. So you want, again, you want to put a figure there so you know what, how to measure your progress and how to track everything, okay? Perhaps you want to create more brand awareness. Perhaps you want to make an extra 10K a month. So again, we're talking about numbers here when it comes to goals, make sure they're measurable. So in order to make 10K a month, it's something around $300 a day. So if you're selling a course, for example, that is $300, then that means you have to get one customer every single day. So what are you going to do every single day to get that one customer to purchase that course? So it becomes clearer when you actually have a number, okay? Perhaps you want to post reels, you know, every single day on social media for 30 days. I've seen quite a few challenges out there, you know, where people are just like, let's do a 90 day reel challenge where every single day, just create a reel and then just see what happens. That's also a goal that you could set, okay? This is more of an actionable goal. So you know that every single day you have to go on Instagram and post a reel. You have to go on Facebook and post a reel. You have to go on TikTok, whatever social media platforms you're using, you need to go out there and do something about it, okay? This is the beauty of having a goal because then things start to make sense. It becomes clearer, okay? It actually guides you and directs you towards implementing every strategy in your business pretty much, okay? So again, let's just take another little break and I just want you guys to note down your business goals for the month, okay? I'm gonna give you a minute. If you guys are bold, you can share in the chat with others. Let's make this fun. Or you can just you know keep it to yourself if you just wanna leave it that way, that's also fine. So I'll give you guys a minute to really think about your business goals for the month and then we're just gonna crack on from there, okay? Okay, hopefully you guys have noted down your business goals for the month. I'm just looking at the chat. <clears throat> Excuse me, I can see. Rami says, I want to help small businesses automate their business pro princess processes. Okay, great. That's, that's amazing. That's amazing. That's a great why, you know, something that you really want to wake up every morning and remind yourself of, okay? And that's going to push you towards showing up in your business every day because if you don't have a drive, like I mentioned before, there's actually nothing pushing you. It's like, you know, why, why should you show up in your business in the first place if you don't know why you're showing up, okay? So let's move on to the exciting parts. Let's talk about content marketing tips. So these are tips that 
I strongly recommend to anyone out there who's creating content. In fact, we're all content creators as entrepreneurs. We need to be content creators if we want people to see us. Those of you guys who are working a nine to five job, you show up to work every single day because you want to get paid, right? So that's consistency. When you want to lose weight, you eat right, you show up in the gym consistently because, you know, you want to see a result, you want to achieve something. So the exact same strategy applies to your business. There's this one thing I like to tell people. If you want to make consistent money, you have to show up in your business consistently. It's honestly that simple. There's no magic pill, you know, to just appear in, you know, just show up in your business. There's like, there's no secret sauce. It's all about just consistency. Treat your business the same way you treat a job, the same way you treat, you know, anything else in your life, okay? So the first tip I'm going to give you guys is when you're creating content, you want to focus on building relationships versus selling. And I know you guys have probably heard about this, you know, so many times out there. And the reason for this is because that's pretty much the case. It works. Okay. It works. When you start building relationships, it becomes easier for people to want to work with you because people buy from other people. They don't buy from sleazy salespeople. Okay. So if you're showing up in your business every single day, trying to sell somebody something, they're just going to be like, mm, I don't want that. Okay. Just think about, you know, going shopping, going to the shopping mall, right? You go walk into the shops because you need something, right? People don't push you to walk into the shops to buy things. You go there because you need those things. Now, imagine that you went to a shop and then suddenly there's all these people coming to you, buy this, buy that, buy this, buy that. Everyone's trying to force sell you something. What are the chances that you're going to take out your credit card and actually buy that product? Very unlikely, right? Because it's just, it's just too overwhelming. And you don't want to do that to your customers and your followers, okay? You want to focus on building relationships versus selling. When you start building relationships with people, the selling is naturally going to follow without you having to say anything, okay? Now, this is not to say don't sell. We're running businesses. I get it. We all want to make money. If you want to sell, I recommend you sell in your stories. So this could be in your Instagram stories or your Facebook stories. You can post 100 times there if you want to. That's your, your, that's your stories. That's more personal. And one thing I love about stories is the fact that you can actually add links as well to your stories. So people can actually click on the link and just go straight to the product or service that you're you know, sending them to or your landing page if you're building your email list. So what I would say is people love to watch stories because, you know, as human beings, we're all nosy out here right i'm sure you guys watching here some of you guys you know we all do it like i love stalking people's stories and seeing what they're getting up to what they're having for breakfast and what they're doing behind the scenes pretty much so give them something to look at okay and the thing about social media is people are going to see your stories more than they actually see the content in your feed so it only makes sense to use your stories to sell Okay. And one other reason why I prefer to sell in my stories, like if you guys look at my Instagram account, one passive word for those of you guys who follow me on Instagram, you realize that I don't actually sell anything in my feed. Okay. You may come to my account and be like, is she actually running a business? Because all I'm doing is nurturing and building relationships with people. And in doing so, I start to build that trust with people. And when you start building trust, people are naturally going to want to buy from you. They're naturally going to want to do business with you. It's that simple. OK, now in my stories, of course, if for those of you guys who watch my stories, you know, I'm always promoting something in my stories. It's easier to sell in your stories than in your feed. OK. The next tip is not to stress over the number of followers. OK, so personally, I've got a combined audience of about 50,000 ish, you know, followers and subscribers across my different social media platforms. So like I said, I have a YouTube channel. I have an email um, list with over 20,000 people right now. I have a Facebook group with almost 10,000 people right now. Um, I've got my Instagram and I've got Pinterest as well. So that's a combined audience of about 50,000 people. So I'm not the most famous person out here, okay? I'm not Instagram famous or social media famous, but even at that, I'm still able to build a six-figure business online, okay? And there's people out there with millions of followers who don't know what to do with it. I'm sure you guys heard about the story of the Instagram um the you know the instagram influencer she had over two million followers she launched a t-shirt brand and she couldn't sell 50 t-shirts she's got over two million followers she could not sell 50 t-shirts so that's just you guys can google this you know i don't know her name or her you know handler but if you guys go on google after the training of course and just google the social media influencer who couldn't sell t-shirts it's gonna come up you're gonna see it it was out there in the news right so don't stress over the number of followers there's people out here with 
10 followers, 100 followers, making more money than people with tens of thousands of followers because they have a clear marketing strategy. So don't sit there thinking, oh, I only have like 50 people who are following me. If anything, that's actually better because it means it's easier for you to engage with those 50 people. Okay, and if you're struggling to convert those people to customers right now, then you have a marketing problem. You don't have a follow up problem, because if you can't convince 100 people to buy your products, I can guarantee you, you cannot convert, um, com you know, you cannot um, convince a million people to buy your products. So you need to, first of all, identify, you know, who are these people following you? Are they quality leads or just vanity metrics? We want quality followers versus quantity. Okay, that should always be the goal. Always have a call to action, taking the customer one step towards achieving your goal. So we talked about goal setting. So if you want to get more followers, you know, remind people to follow your account. If they want more tips on weight loss or whatever you're out there selling, if they want more cute clothing, follow me for more cute clothing. So you want to remind people to just follow your account whenever you share content. Always have a clear call to action. If you want to build your email list, remind them to click on the link in your bio, in your captions, right? Don't forget to check out, you know, our website. Sign up for 50% of your first order. Don't forget to check out the freebie via the link in the bio. So always have a call to action. Don't just post on social media randomly. Post with an objective, okay? Make sure that you're actually directing people somewhere. 80-20 rule, less selling, more nurturing, okay? Very similar to what I talked about before. So 80% of your content should be around nurturing, building relationships with your audience, and 20% should be around selling, okay? So let's talk about the different types of content you can create. So there's four different types of content that you can create on social media. The first one is educational content. So this can be anything from, you know, how to use your products. If you're selling products, it can be the features of your products, how to style your outfits, for example. You're actually giving people more information around whatever you're selling. If you are a coach, for example, you can be offering people things like how to do something. I do a lot of educational type content on my account because I am a business coach. So I share at least two pieces of educational real on Instagram every single week, okay? This can also be things like step-by-step -step behind the scenes, just giving people more information that can actually help them towards purchasing your products or services. Inspirational content, we can all do with inspiration. There's so much negativity going on in the world right now. So just posting something inspirational to brighten someone's day is going to bring them closer to you, one step closer to you. Trust me, it works. Entertaining content, this one is really great, especially with the emergence of Instagram Reels right now, okay? We love watching Reels. They are engaging, they're very short, you know, and I could spend all day just going through all the different Reels that just pop up in my feed. So entertainment content is a great way to, again, engage with your audience, get people commenting, because people love that stuff, you know? Some people are just bored. They wanna go on social media to be social. So the best way to get their attention is to create entertainment content. And in doing so, you're reminding them of who you are. They're gonna check out your account and they're gonna check out what you do if they resonate with you, okay? And then obviously we have the sales content. Like I mentioned before, yes, you can sell in your feed, but keep it very minimal. So less selling, more relationship building. And again, in your stories, like I said, you can post as much salesy content as you wish in your stories. If people want to be nosy and check out what you're getting up to, then give them something to look at, okay? This is the best place to sell in your stories. When you go on your Facebook or even Instagram app, the first thing you see at the top is the stories. So more people are going to see your stories than any other piece of content on your Instagram account. So use that to your advantage, okay? So let's talk about how to show up in your business consistently. These are the strategies that I use right now to show up every single day on Instagram. You know, people always like, Denise, you're literally here. Like they think I'm spending 24 seven on Instagram, posting reels and waking up in the morning and creating a new role every single day. But that's not the case. Sometimes I, I literally like spend a Saturday in a month batch creating a month's worth of content in one day. Okay, it's very easy to do, guys. It's really, really easy to do. If you can find a day in the week or even a month that you have no distractions, up to you. You can do this weekly and create seven days in advance, or you can do it monthly and create, you know, 30 days in advance. Up to you how much time you have, but just dedicate a day or a week. Okay. And if you're doing this weekly, I'll recommend an hour to two hours. Or if you're doing this monthly, I'll recommend three to four hours. And you want to use that time, guys. Free yourself from any distractions and just start creating your content. Create as much content as you can. And you can do this, guys, using platforms like canva.com. It's a free app. 
that you can use on your phone or you can use it on a desktop. I find it easier using this on a desktop. So you can actually go on Canva. Canva has so many done for you templates, guys, that you can use for Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, TikTok. You can even create Instagram Reels on Canva, okay? It's actually a really, really powerful platform. And again, like I said, it's free to join. You can, you know, if you guys can Google Canva.com, you can register for a free account. And then that allows you to badge, create content. You can um, create things like quotes, um, client testimonials, you know, just go there and make it your own. Okay. So this is how I do it, guys. Like there's no like secret or magic behind showing up consistently. The secret is just badge creating your content. And once you've created your content, the next thing you want to do is you want to schedule your content. Okay, so scheduling your content means, and this is what I do, means you don't have to come every single day on social media and then start thinking about, okay, what am I going to post today? What am I going to post today? Okay, now I need to go post this on Instagram, post this on Facebook, think about the captions and the hashtags to use. That's time consuming. So I recommend this app called Plainly. You guys can check it out on your app store or your Play Store. It's a free app. And this is great for planning your Instagram content in advance. Okay. So when you've gone on Canva and created all your content, or maybe you've you know, done some videos on your phone, if, depending on what type of content you're creating, then you want to go to um, Plainly and just upload that content on Plainly. And Plainly actually allows you to set a date and time that you want the content to go out. So that means that if you said, okay, I want this content to go out tomorrow at 1 p.m., Plainly is going to automatically upload that content to your Instagram account. It's going to look like you're actually on Instagram, but you're not everything is literally planned in advance. Like sometimes I could go a day without checking my Instagram, but my content is still being released on Instagram. Honestly, it's, it's that amazing. Okay. And this is a great way guys, especially for those of you guys who are busy. I know a lot of us are working a nine to five job. This is a great way to show up every single day without actually, you know, physically being there. Just plan everything in advance when you have some time. Okay. It's honestly that simple. Again, rinse and repeat. Just like, for example, my Saturdays are free for me, for example. So every Saturday, I make it my goal to create content for the next seven to 15 days. So that usually takes me for, you know, till around two weeks in advance. Okay, this can be my reels, my inspirational quotes, my product images, videos. I just plan everything in one day because that's when I have some free time. So think about what works for you. Maybe you're free on a Monday. Maybe you're free on a Sunday. Think about just dedicating one hour every single week to batch create your content. It's gonna make a massive difference, okay, to your consistency and how frequently you show up, trust me. So now we've talked about all these incredible ways to get started, I'm sure you guys are just like, okay, right, yeah, this makes sense, but how do I come up with the ideas, right? How do I come up with consistent ideas? Because it's great to tell you guys to show up consistently, everyone says show up consistently, but how do you know what to post, right? You're in luck because I would like to invite you guys to join my 30 day social media challenge. Okay. And this challenge is literally going to cover everything that you need to show up consistently. So the first thing that you're going to get with this challenge is a 365 day social media calendar. Okay. So it tells you what to post every single day for the entire year. So when you go on to create your content and you don't know, okay, what should I actually create? What should I put, right? What should I schedule as my content? This social media calendar tells you what to create. It tells you what to post, okay? So I'm quite conscious of time right now. So um, I'm not going to go too in-depth into this whole thing, but here's pretty much what you get. You get access to the social media calendar, guys. Um, it tells you what to post every single day for an entire year. So you're never going to ever run out of content ideas. This is what I use. And this has been designed for service-based businesses, as you can see, and also product-based businesses. Okay, so you can see right here, it tells you what to do, post a picture of new arrivals, share a quote relevant to your niche and outfit, how to start, remind customers to hashtag. There's so much guys that you can use the social media calendar for. It's really gonna save you a lot of headache. It's gonna save you having to think about what to post, okay? So today is the 4th of August, so that's Thursday. So it's telling me that I can go on and actually share how to style or how to use product video if you're selling products. You can see for the service-based businesses, it tells you to share a testimonial. So this there's actually two different planners. One is for service-based businesses. So if you are a coach or you sell digital products, for example, or maybe you're a freelancer, um, that's a great one for you. And then this one is great for you guys who run boutique businesses or you sell products online. 
amazing stuff guys so that's the first thing you're going to gain access to if you join this 30-day social media challenge and for those of you guys who are watching this who are already members of um, the Ron Boutique Academy or Fun Up Hire if you are any of our VIP members you wouldn't already have access to this social media calendar but if you're someone who's just watching this and you haven't actually joined yet or purchased any of our premium memberships then I will actually show you guys how you can get access to this separately okay so on top of those social media calendars, you're also going to gain access to an in-depth course that basically teaches you how to create a month's worth of social media content in one day. So I'm literally going to go behind the scenes and create content together with you guys live, and you're going to see me doing it from start to finish, okay? You're also going to learn how to grow your Facebook and Instagram following to an additional 300 plus subscribers every single month. So this is an amazing challenge. So every single day, we're going to work towards getting at least 10 new followers on our Facebook and Instagram accounts. How to plan, create, and edit Instagram Reels. So you guys who follow me know I love Instagram Reels. They are engaging, they're amazing, and they've actually grown my business drastically. So I recommend Instagram Reels. So if you're someone out there who's like, oh, Instagram Reels, how do I even get started with this thing? You want to join this challenge. I'm going to hold you by the hand and show you how to literally go out there and look for ideas, okay? What to post as an Instagram Reel, how to get sound, how to upload your videos, how to create the content, and everything you need to know about Instagram Reels is there in the challenge. How to show up consistently even if you have no time. Again, we're going to dive deeper into scheduling your content and all different tools that you can use to make life easy for you, okay? And of course, we're going to talk about how to convert followers to paying customers because it doesn't make sense going out there just growing our following if we're not actually going to be making money in our business. It doesn't make any sense, right? So you're going to learn amazing strategies that can help you convert your, your followers to paying customers, okay? And of course, like I mentioned before, you gain access to the 365-day social media calendar to guide you towards creating content if you have no idea what to post, okay? So guys, you have no excuse, plus access to a private community where you can share results, stay motivated, and you know, where we hold each other accountable, okay? So how does that sound? Leave in the chat. How does that all sound? Good, bad, yes, no? Let me know what you guys think. Is that something you want to be a part of? Who's ready to join? Okay, so for the sake of time, I'm just going to move on to the next step. So for those of you guys who are willing to join, you can gain access to this 30-day social media challenge right now for a one-time fee of $47. And this is only available for the next 48 hours, guys, okay? So it's currently on sale, and you can gain access to that at www.funofire.com slash social. So if you just go there, guys, you will be able to find the course. And it says 30-day social media challenge, guys. You can join that challenge right away, and you can start right away. You can join anytime, but I recommend that you check it out right now whilst it's on sale before it goes back to full price. 